Hello and welcome to another video from DoubleRL. In this video, we're going to show you how to apply the uh, etched nameplates from uh, Fox Transfers. So here I have the uh, etched nameplates for 86613, which is the uh, county of Lancashire. And um, these nameplates came from uh, Fox Transfers. And you can get these in the UK. I just want to do a quick thanks to my dad who uh, hooked me up with these and a few other ones uh, for Christmas. So here we have um, 86613. Now this particular running number is not available on uh, any of the Hornby or uh, Bachman uh, versions of the class 86. Um, this is actually 86, uh, I think it was 86417 the Kingsman. Um, and I believe it's R289 from Hornby from about 1988 or 1989. Um, this is an item I picked up off of eBay. Uh, it's in a very good condition. It was a very good price. Um, and what had happened was someone had renumbered this to uh, 86613. However, they had the wrong nameplate on the side of the locomotive. So they had used a um, water slide transfer and had put the North Star and um, the North Star is actually the name of a class 47 uh, 47613 so it looks like uh, someone either didn't know that this was a class 86 or they just did a, a search for, for 613 and I found the North Star and, and were confused um, I'm not quite sure which but um, it was definitely the wrong nameplate. It also wasn't put on very well. It was kind of at an angle, kind of smushed up, uh, like you get with with the water slide transfers. So um, what I decided to do was to remove it, and removing it was very simple. Um, I took one of these um, X-Acto knives and just took the uh, very tip of it and got the side of the water slide transfer and got it started, and then um, once it was started. I was able to rub it away with a, a damp cloth. I did that on both sides, and, and that was basically it. So, um, Fox transfers are, are pretty straightforward. They are a metal product, um, so you do have to kind of file down the edges or, or cut the edges off with the um, with the X-Acto knife. And uh, you can see here, it comes with uh, two fairly nice um, nameplates, one for each side. And you can see there, they're also attached to the paper independently, which is good. So, to attach these to the locomotive, you're going to need uh, some form of super glue. We're going to use the uh, Loctite gel control because it's uh, easy to get small amounts of glue out. You're going to need an X Acto knife um, or some kind of sharp utility knife. You're going to need your uh, transfers, and uh, these are actually the etched nameplates from Fox Transfers. And you're also going to need a small file. Um, in case you can't quite cut the um, the pieces down, so um, what I'm going to do here is uh, take the exacto knife and just uh, open the uh, transfers here, the nameplates. So it's uh, quite a straightforward process. Maybe. So they're attached to this uh, piece of card. It's not caught on the inside of the bag. There we go. So you can see there, you can just discard the plastic. And there's uh, two of them. So we're going to go and remove one of them, like so. You can see here, they are not a um, a sticker or something like that. They're an actual piece of metal that has been etched, and uh, you can see there. Right, drag it down. It's actually quite nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, trim the edges here, and I'm going to get some glue, and we're going to glue it into place. 
Okay, so you can see there I have uh, filed down both ends. Um, what I ended up doing was uh, using the X-Acto knife to cut a small slit on the top and the bottom of the piece and then I took the tweezers and just um, grabbed a hold of it, squeezed, twisted, and it popped right off. Um, and I just used a small nail file to, uh, melon nail file to, to file down the edges. So the next time um, we need to do is just put a small piece of glue on the back of this and glue it into place. If you look at the locomotive, there's actually a little plus sign to show you where to put the um, the actual nameplate. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to very carefully apply some glue. Uh, you don't need a whole lot of glue. <coughs> um, you certainly don't need to uh, bead it or anything like that. You just want to use a, a very small amount. things here. I've used a very small amount of glue and then to position it I'm going to take the tweezers and then very carefully I'm going to line it up and use the X-Acto knife to straighten it. Like so. And there you have it, that's the uh, end product. You can see there it's a uh, very high quality nameplate. It's casting a bit of a shadow so you can see that it has a bit of a three dimension to it like a regular nameplate would on a real logo. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And in an upcoming video I'm actually going to go ahead and weather this. Uh, the reason I'm going to weather it is if I uh, pan the camera back this way, you can see that the 86613 uh, renumbering that was done by somebody else, um, it's not too bad, but it's not great. So I think uh, some weathering will, will further enhance that. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time.